Good afternoon, I'm Kate Hamlin, and it is such a pleasure to be back in the village of Westford where my childhood and my youth were passed. Although it has been several years since I moved to San Francisco, where I began teaching reading and grammar at the school established there oh, 23 years ago now in 1896 by my older sister, Sarah, I've kept in touch with the interests of the village by means of correspondence with friends. While I am back in Westford, I've been asked by one of those friends whose childhood and youth were also passed in Westford to share reminiscences of my childhood. So on Sunday, August 18th at 1 p.m., I'll be leading a tour around Westford Common and I invite you to join me. I'll tell you all about my memories of the families who lived in the houses around the Common. This is when I was a child, about 1852. My old home faces Westford Common, where Hilda Street and Boston Road meet. It's often called the Fletcher Tavern, though in the years since 1789, five generations of the Hamlin family have lived there. Now my older sister Sarah, our younger brothers, Henry and Charles and I, all attended Westford Academy, which was just across the street from our house, next door to Uncle Nathan and Aunt Harriet Hamlin's home. I'll point out both those buildings to you on our walk together on the 18th of August. My sister Sarah graduated from Westford Academy when she was 15. And I'm very proud to remind you that Sarah was among the first group of women accepted to Michigan University when it became coeducational in 1870. Sarah then went on to teach at several schools, including one in India for a year and a half, before moving to San Francisco to pursue her real dream. She established Miss Hamlin's School for Girls, where I teach today. When I see you on Westford Common on August 18th, I'll tell you more about Sarah. You know, after Sarah was at Westford Academy for a few years, Ellen Swallow also became a student there. Ellen's father, Peter, Peter ran the general store across Main Street from that nice new town hall. After completing her studies at Westford Academy, Ellen went on to Vassar and then was the first woman ever admitted to Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where she is an instructor today. Please mark your calendars, find your sensible walking shoes for our tour together on August 18th at 1 p.m. At that time, I can tell you more about the families who lived in the houses near the common when I was a child. And I cannot wait to tell you about the thrill of being at the inaugural ball held at the lower floor of the Unitarian Meeting House after the election of President James Buchanan. It was the winter of 1857 and I was 10. No pictures of my young days is more vivid in my mind than that dance. I very much look forward to meeting you. It's good to be home in Westford. Thank you.